All right, guys, we are back working on the little utility room in here. I've decided to go with some uh, plywood. This is like uh, just standard old pine, cheap three quarter inch plywood. I figure I'm gonna be knocking it up and denting it. So I'm actually gonna do, do two layers. I bought two sheets of plywood. I actually needed it to be 25, 25 and a. Uh, 25 inches rather 25 and a half inches to come out just a little past this but I'm actually going to put a little trim board on here too but as you know plywood only comes uh, 48 inches wide so what I did was I cut this 28 I mean 24 and a half and then by the time I put my trim piece on here it'll be flush just maybe just a quarter inch past this this cabinet here and then the uh, the other side of the plywood is going to be 23 and a half and what I'm going to do is I'm going to laminate a second sheet on top. I'm going to glue it to it. And I'm going to slide one side all the way flush to the front so you won't know it. And then the half inch gap will be at the back and you'll never see it. And it'll sit uh, it'll sit flush. Now we don't have to buy a third sheet of plywood. So my plans are, uh, this is 11 foot. So um, we got 8 foot to here. And I had to do a 32 and a half inch sheet right here so I'm gonna glue this edge and then I'm gonna take my other sheet that's over there and I'm gonna run it across this seam and it'll break somewhere about right here and then I'll put that sheet on it and then I'm gonna glue it and then I'm gonna screw it flip it over and then I'm gonna screw it to my surface here that's the plan at least so uh and then I'll probably use my belt sander to sand this top stain it and I either put epoxy on it or just some poly on it or I might not put nothing on it to be honest I might just leave it like that not sure but that's the plan right now I want to finish this video up with a little update of what the countertops look like there's been a a week or so um span between what I've done last and what I did now I've already laminated the two tops together. I, I laminated them. What I did was I screwed them together, uh, glued it, put them together, and then I screwed them in a random pattern to, to draw them close since I didn't have, it would be hard to clamp this since it's so wide. I've sanded the surface so you can see in the beginning of the video what it looked like and what it looks like now. I still got to do a little bit more with some fine grit and I put my trim on the edge. I just finished that up so let's show you what it looks like. You can see that seam there where those two boards meet. Like I said in the beginning of the video, the other seam is down this way on the underside of it. But I put the trim on here. And then I got to uh, finish sanding it. And uh, fill in some of these uh, little cracks here. And then I put a stain on it. I really wanted to put a dark stain on it. But I already have a can of golden oak, and uh, basically I'm really just trying to put something on it just to keep um, water or any kind of solvent from going into it. So I'll put a, uh, a coat or two of uh, golden oak on it, and then I'm going to put some uh, polyurethane on top. And that'll probably be all I do to this. Um, next, I'm going to try to build some shelves in between here, these two cabinets. It's kind of hard to see because the cabinets are white, and the, and but I'm gonna build some kind of shelf right there. Maybe put me a light on it, so I have some uh, light coming down on my surface. Oh yeah, I did put this trim piece on too. See it right there. All that is is a one by four covering up that two by four, and it just makes it flush with that. But uh, I got to do that. I'm put something across there, maybe a couple. I might just build like a box and I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet. And then I might go up and make something where it's even with that. All the way across. And then that'll be all I'm going to do on that side. And then I'm going to do something over here with this. I'm going to take this shelf out and build some skinnier shelves. Not quite as deep. That way if I ever have to work on my water heater back there it would be easy to get to. Might even just be some corner shelves right there. So um, that's what I'm planning on right now. Once we get that done, we're gonna build some shelves in the uh, in the uh, laundry in the uh, garage here to put all that stuff on us in there. So stay tuned. <coughs> all right, guys. So we 
showed you a little bit of what we're doing, a little bit about what we're doing in the uh, utility room today. I was also going to do a quick mail call here. I got a couple mail calls, uh, one from Dan at Home in the Sticks and one from uh, Rob at Sapper Gardener. I've had these for a little while. I need to open them up. Uh, Mr. Mr. Sapper Gardener here, Mr. Rob, sent this to me. Uh, probably uh, was this postmark uh, the 13th of November, so I've had this a good while. So we're going to open it up. <clears throat> I've already told him that, that I appreciate him sending this to me. And he told me what he was sending me. He sent me some sun chokes a while back. And uh, there was something else that he was going to send, and I can't, I can't remember what it was. So I'm going to be just as surprised as y'all are. Let's see what we got here. For Ronnie. <clears throat> Let's see here. This double wrap. Give me a thanks card here. Malabar spinach. Okay, that's what it was. So sorry I forgot this in the first package. I hope these do great in your garden. Man, I appreciate this. So these are Malabar spinach. So I'm looking forward to uh, to planting some of that too. Thanks, thanks, Rob. I appreciate it a lot, man. I really do. I'm going to have all kinds of stuff to be planting up in here. I'm going to have a food forest. <clears throat> And I think I know what these are. I think Mr. Dan had already told me what these were. I really appreciate this too, Dan. I really do. Let's see what we got in the bag. I think these are some uh, marigold seeds. Yep. Oh, what was that? Okay. Got a couple bags of them. I think I dropped one bag somewhere. <clears throat> I don't know where they went. Anyway, let's see what we got here. My brother, sorry it's taking so long to get the marigold seeds out to you, Ronnie. It's been a rough November. I sent three different types. Dwarf marigold and a red orange marigold and a large yellow marigold. Hope these seeds grow for you, my friend, and now you can save the seeds as well. It's easy. It's easy as all get out. Thank you for the friendship and support. Hope all is well with you and your family. Merry Christmas to you and yours, my brother. Appreciate that, Dan. Really do, man. And I will plant these and I will save these seeds. And, <clears throat> and I think I dropped one bag, but I gotta find them somewhere. They're somewhere on the floor. So Happy New Year to everybody. Hope y'all had a Merry Christmas. This is Ronnie from Caney Branch Farm. We'll see y'all next time.